Florence is a hotbed of inspiration for style-oriented students. At Il Fulino, the final presentations for the Fashion Cross Culture course at LDM took place. A city like Florence affords a wealth of inspiration to fashion students and creative types. The Master of Arts in Contemporary Fashion Design students recently attested to this with their end-of-semester final presentations for the Fashion Cross Culture course. Throughout their study at LDM in Florence as part of the program in collaboration with IFA Paris, a prestigious fashion school, these international students explored local museums from top to bottom, from the city's most iconic locations to lesser known cultural repositories. The aim was always to understand the link between the creative arts and fashion placed within a historical context. Each student produced an experimental design based on something that inspired him or her on one of many museum outings. We spoke with a few of the students to understand more about their creative processes and how they make their own artistic statements against the backdrop of an art capital like Florence. Uh, the students have been here for three months and they have visited a lot of uh, museums with me so they got the inspiration from different places and different art objects. LDM I think it's a wonderful school and um, with the, the level of um, expertise from the teachers and how they impacted us in the sense that they taught us and they built us up for in terms of the um, entrepreneurship like setting up our own brands which is very good because after we know how to produce these garments how we can sustain our brands it's something very vital so yeah the wow. LDM is a very good school. Like we went around to uh, tons of different museums here in Florence and had so many visual impressions. And the aim was to take all these visual impressions and create something. Uh, and this is quite like this is inspired from the Rococo period, from the very nice uh, ceilings in the, the Pitti Palace, amongst others. We also went to the Stibert Museum, which was very, very nice. And it this. The Stibbert is more like a mishmash of different periods, um, but we really love the, the gold intricate ceilings. And so we were um, told that we need to use contemporary materials and no, not textile fabrics at all. So um, one of my group mates, Zoe, she had a really good idea of using a glue gun and, uh, and applying that in different like patterns onto a, a dress form. So that was our starting point. We got a lot of inspiration from the Musée Stibert, I think, um, uh, because there was a malachite table there and because we liked the lines of the, and the colors of the table. So we took a lot of inspiration from the malachite table. We liked the lines and the geometric organic forms of the malachite table, especially the colors as well. So the colors really spoke to us. We really liked the, the curvatures, so we wanted to kind of expand the curves onto the body. And so that's why we did uh, the form on the body. We wanted to make it more uh, extended on the hip, extended on the neck. Uh, we wanted to kind of work with organic uh, forms, but also with a lot of different textures. So we have like different textures on the body, like we have different like trash bags that we braided, uh, tablecloths that we knotted together, a lot of threads. So it was very fun to kind of work very uh, 3D. We were inspired by the armor and uh, we were inspired by the, this really interesting um, uh, snails that we found in one of the museums. They had this pearl shell, so it's a combination between the sharp lines of the armor and the swirling shape of the shell of the snails. Uh, so the uh, lines and the structure of the armor, you can see it in the base dress uh, and the swirling shape, of course, you can see it in the ruffle. Uh, but uh, it's not done in a literal way. We wanted to make something different and we wanted to play with the shape. 